Have you ever wondered if you have the potential for greatness inside of you? Yo, what's going on? It's me, Norte Angman, and in this video, I'm going to share with you five signs that indicate that you are destined for greatness. Stepping into entrepreneurship has really opened my eyes to the mental blocks that were holding me back from achieving my goals. The truth is, there's been many times where I thought about throwing in the towel, thought about giving up, calling it quits. But on my journey, I've come to realize that the seed of success is just one step after failure. Here's the thing. I believe creating a life by design is worth the investment of blood, sweat, and tears. In those moments of doubt, there are five pieces, five factors that essentially kept me going, that helped me understand that, listen, I do have greatness inside of you. And by tapping into these five things that I'm about to share with you, you can ultimately move yourself forward and create breakthroughs in your life. Let's dive into it. So number one, unwavering courage. Now, unwavering courage is based on the knowledge of number one, self, right? And number two, the skills that you have available to you, right? Knowing who you are as an individual, knowing what you stand for, knowing what you like, what you don't like, knowing the skills that you have puts you in a position to have unshakable confidence, to be able to move forward and continue to move forward no matter what obstacles come your way. The courage to continue is what's going to take you to your goal, right? A lot of the times when people face walls, when people face hurdles, when people face obstacles that stop them from achieving what it is that they desire, they quit. They fold, they roll over, they hunch over, they put their thumb in their mouth, right? And essentially, they stop taking action. Right? But if you're somebody who has the courage to continue, no matter what obstacle comes your way, no matter what problems may arise, you know that based on who you are as a person and based on the skills that you have as an individual to problem solve, you can get the job done. That will give you the momentum you need to create the breakthroughs in your life. Number two, self-control. Right, so self-control, a man who can, cannot control himself can never influence others and can never control others, right? You have to lead by example, right? If you're somebody who is going to be in the space of greatness, in the space of influence, right? The actions that you take today impact not only just your life, but the lives of those who look onto you, the lives of those who admire you, the lives of those who are inspired by your story and by your goals and the vision that you have for your future, right? So if you can't implement self-control, if you can't have a strong willpower to push you to your goals, to help you get the job done, then ultimately you're set up for failure. Right, we're talking about greatness. We're talking about legacy. We're talking about being world class. And in order for you to have that, right, you have to be able to have an element of self control, have an element of willpower in your life to take things to the next level. The third thing that I want to talk about is definiteness of decision. You need to be definite with your decisions. When you come to a decision, you got to be certain about it and you got to stick to it. A man who wavers on his decisions shows that he's unsure of himself, shows that he's unsure of his skills, show that he's unsure of the world around him, right? He can't lead others successfully. It's not possible, right? So in order for you to really break through, you need to be definite in what it is that you want out of life, definite in the plans and the direction that you're going, and you need to take action in spite of failure, in spite of defeat, in spite of getting knocked down, right? In spite of others saying it's not possible, in spite of people hating on your dreams, right? If you're definite about what you want and you let time play its role, time play its factor, you are ultimately on pace for success. It is in that pocket that breakthroughs really happen. So the next thing we're gonna talk about is imagination. Anybody who wants to be a successful leader must have a strong vision for himself and must be able to use his subconscious mind to his benefit. The subconscious mind is one of the most powerful tools known to man. The reality of the situation is we are only in control of one thing, our thoughts. Our thoughts control our actions, 
which control our words, which control our character, which control our destiny, right? And so if you're able to control your thoughts and understand the difference between your conscious mind, the thinking mind, and your subconscious mind. If we think about breathing, right? The simple act of breathing. Breathing incorporates your subconscious mind. You are not constantly every day thinking about breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, breathe out. If that was your thought and you had to think about that, a lot of people wouldn't be alive right now, right? So we essentially pass off the exercise of breathing to the subconscious mind. It happens on autopilot. So there is a lot of things like that that actually happen automatically where similar to breathing, your thought patterns, your actions are on autopilot are in, and are in the subconscious mind. So if you're able to tap into the subconscious mind, you're able to essentially unlock a whole world that 99% of the world is not tapping into. The last thing that we're gonna talk about is the willingness to take and assume full responsibility. The only way that you can create control, the only way that you can create the life that you desire, the only way that you can actually have what it is that you want out of life is by taking full responsibility. You need to take full responsibility of everything that's happening. Because we understand that the only thing that we can control is our thoughts, therefore, your thoughts lead to your words, your actions. Those things are the things that you need to take into your account. What are you thinking every day? What thoughts are flowing through your mind? What words are you saying? What actions are you taking that are moving you closer to your goal? If you're willing to assume full responsibility for everything that's happening in your life, the relationship that you have, the body that you have health-wise, right? Your, your goals and how well you achieve your goals. If you're able to assume full responsibility, this now puts the ball in your court so that you can assume control and you can start taking the necessary actions to actually change things and get things done. Guys, I hope these five things really impacted you. I know when I discovered it and when I was in a rut, these were the five things that really kept me going, really kept me moving forward. Four years later, I now run a successful six-figure business online and I've been able to do it literally from the comfort of my home. It's been there's been high times, there's been low times. And so on this channel, we're gonna talk about all of that. We're gonna talk about the journey of entrepreneurship. We're gonna talk about mindset. We're gonna talk about strategies and we're gonna talk about stories that ultimately will show you that it is possible for you to have what it is that you desire. It is possible for you to achieve your goals, your dreams in a big way. If you like the content, if you like the video that was, the stuff that was shared in this video, make sure you smash the like button, hit the subscribe button as well. Um, my goal right now is to hit a thousand subscribers on this channel. And so I'm super excited to drop more videos. Uh, I'm still unsure how often I'm gonna be dropping these videos, whether it's gonna be twice a week, three times a week, uh, but I promise you, it's going to be straight fire. All right, guys, it's your boy, Ninorite, signing off. Peace.